Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. Uh, so next up is a couple of small bookshelves that my daughter-in-law requested for the baby's room. Um, I'm going to put a picture up here that she snagged off Pinterest and to give me an idea of what she wanted. Um, I, nothing against that particular one, um, but I think we can do a little bit better than that. Um, initially, I wasn't going to video this uh, because it, it really is kind of a simple shelf. Um, but then I got a request for some more of them. So now it might be video worthy just because uh, it changed up how I was going to build it a little bit and so that I could batch these out fairly quickly if I needed to. So I thought I'd take you guys uh, along for the ride. Um, I have two different sizes that I have to build. Uh, both of them are six inches deep. Uh, one of them is just a little bit longer uh, than the other one. And I'll probably go through and show you two different mounting methods as well, uh, just because I have different requests on that front. So um, I've got this pretty walnut here. It is milled flat um, and it's got one square edge on it. And I'm gonna start this by going and ripping three two inch strips out of this and then we'll cut everything to length and start making some big finger joints and it, it'll make sense. Hopefully we get this whole build done in a day uh, and get these cranked out. Uh, but let's start over at the table saw. All right, so next up here, I've got quite a few glue ups to do because I'm making multiples of these. But all, all I did here was just shift the center one to be the thickness of this plus an eighth, maybe three sixteenths. Uh, and then we just set that on each side and we're gonna glue that up. Then when this all goes together, this piece should theoretically slide right in creating a perfect finger joint in the bottom of the shelf. But we'll get to those gloves in a minute. For now, I got to spend probably, probably a couple hours getting all of these uh, glued up. Uh, nothing fancy, I'm not going to put a domino in them. Long grain to long grain is, is plenty fine. It would be helpful for alignment, uh, but I think that I can just uh, be slow and cautious with my clamping and get them all set up and not have any issues. So let me get these glued up and then we'll move on to the bottom sections. Okay, so next we have to create the corresponding finger over here, which means these all have to get that same thickness plus a little bit taken off. And I've set that up over at the miter saw. So we're just gonna go over there and start making the cuts. Okay, so all I did is just create a little template because I want to round these tops off. I think the, the one in the picture, they were square. Um, I think I want these to look a little nicer. So I just get the template lined up on there, trace it out, and then I'll cut these out on the bandsaw and clean them up at the disc sander and then a little hand sanding. Almost getting ready to put these together.
All right, so next up is just to round off all of these tenons, soften them up uh, just a little bit. Um, and there's quite a few of them, so it's gonna take me a minute. I've just got a little 1 8 inch roundover bit uh, in a little trim router, and we're gonna just start nipping these off. Okay, so there's the first glue up. Uh, I, I made sure it was very square because we are going to come back and add screws to the big fingers. Um, but it's only glue for now because that will hold it and allow me to get the screws in it where they need to be. Um, I also dug an old beater chisel out and just to take care of any glue squeeze out around these fingers now uh, rather than trying to do it later. So I'm just going to let this cure for about an hour. Uh, which, you know, give me some time to start getting these others in. Uh, and then when I pull this out of clamps, we'll come back and get screws and plugs in them, uh, as well as the little rail on the front, get some finish on it, and these will be wrapped up. All right, time to get the screws in, and I'm going to set them up for plugs at the same time. I've got a couple of squares out here I've already marked out for where they all go. So I'm just going to go ahead and get these in. All right, so getting the bar in is, is really pretty simple. I'm not gonna put much of it on, on film. Um, all I did was set a square for how far up I wanted it to go and how far in I wanted it to go. From there, I drilled the same 3 8 hole and pilot screw that I did uh, for the bottoms. Uh, then I cut a one inch by one inch uh, square piece of stock and I rounded it over in the router table, uh, just a quarter inch round over and then this one's all set up to there. So there you can see my, my hole already set. And then all I did was I set a screw in just till that tip is sticking out, just a smidgen. And then I will slide this in there until it locks into place and drive it home. Uh, I'm not going to do this one right now because I don't have this screw in yet. Uh, but that's all I did to set the bar. Um, and then, of course, you know, eyeball it, make sure it looks right, and make sure it doesn't twist on you when you're pushing the screw in. Okay, so in hindsight, I wish that I would have allotted for the hardware uh, prior to this assembly. I would have went ahead and just trimmed an eighth off of this and, and been done. Um, but I didn't, so now I need to account for it. And I don't know, you know where it's going to go on their wall. So I created a shim so that I can run an edge guide on the router. Um, I've already set the router to the depth, which is equal to the thickness of this. And now I'm just going to route a groove in there to accept this hardware. And then they can mount it on the wall anywhere they wish. All right, so finish on this one is going to be Osmo. Um, I haven't used Osmo on a project yet. Um, I know it's a lot like Rubio, and I thought this would just be a good test case. I'm gonna apply it just like I do the Rubio, and we'll see how it comes out. All right, guys, so there you go. Um, I'm, overall, I'm pretty happy with the Osmo. Uh, I like the way it went on. I like the way it spread. Um, it, had, it had a lot of cool qualities. Some people complained about the smell. I didn't have 
uh, any issue with that. Um, I'll grab some closer pictures tomorrow and I'll put them here in the end of this video so you can see um, just how well they did turn out. Overall, I'm, I'm very happy with them um, and they'll, they'll serve the owners for many years to come. Um, additionally, although it was a long day, uh, including cure time, uh, all four of these were completed in one day. So um, that's going to wrap it up for this one, guys. And until next time, take care.